After a cold start, the Virginia Tech Hokies caught fire to the tune of a 50-point second half as they knocked off Wake Forest 87-76. Wake Forest could not miss in the first half. They shot 16 for 28 and 9 for 14 from deep, getting them a 15-point advantage at their peak. But the Hokies weren't necessarily bad in the first half. They shot over 50% from the field and only trailed by 9 points at half. Mike Young had some interesting thoughts on the box score. Not sure I've ever seen a box score like that. We led by as many as 16 in the second. They led by as many as 15 in the first. A little scary. Uh, that's, that's bad, bad territory. Six different players for Wake Forest made threes. Um, we couldn't slow them down. We were behind everything. They're making shots left and right. Mike Young and his men may have been down, but have no fear. Hunter Couture is here. When the Hokies needed their star man most, he exploded for 26 points to lead all scorers. He shot 9 from 15 from the field and 5 from 10. Why would we do it any other way? Couture offensively was uh, elite. His cutting, his ability to read screens, Lynn Robbie, Tyler at the four, Melijah did a really good job of getting bodies on him. Heldreth's good, and Heldreth's going to top him and make it real hard on him. But uh, Hunter and his... Um, his basketball IQ got him, uh, got him free, and uh, those are tough shots. Those are high-level shots, and he was very, very efficient. Couture wasn't the only player who balled out. Sean Padula had 15 points and six assists with only one turnover and three steals. Plus, MJ Collins had 11 points and five assists as well. I'm applauding Lynn and Malaysia's screening um, and very uh, unselfish play from, uh, from our team and making the, making the team play and... Uh, you know, putting it down there. I thought Lynn was going to take the backboard down a couple of times. That would have been okay. It was pretty good. Lynn Kidd came to play yesterday. He posted 21 points on 9 for 11 shooting with 9 rebounds and a block. Plus, the big man made sure to do it all in style. Mike Young and his men are back in action this Tuesday at Louisville. From Castle Coliseum, I'm Robert Bateman with Tech Sideline.